Welcome back to Morning Trade Live. I'm Renita Young in for Oliver Rennick, and it's time now for a developing story. Caroline Woods is here from the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you for joining us. You're taking a look at Sphere Entertainment, which is up almost 10% today. Does that have anything to do with the concert that it recently had? Were you seeing those pictures on Twitter too, Renita? <laughs> I kept seeing them. It, it looks really cool. But yes, yeah, Sphere Entertainment stock is surging about 10%. It's the parent company of The Sphere, which is this new concert venue in Las Vegas. I, I kept seeing pictures over the weekend from its uh, kicking off its, its first show with U2, and it's pretty incredible and uh, it's clearly giving the stock a boost today and uh, it, it's it's interesting because it's actually there's the concert venue inside and then outside it has all these LED panels so it's basically a giant advertisement on the outside so it's an ad <laughs> generator as well as a concert venue but CEO oh. James Dolan he heads Madison Square Garden Sports as well which owns the Knicks and the Rangers here in New York he's hoping to build a similar um, set of venues around the world but this particular one cost 2.3 billion dollars to build and has nearly 18,000 seats so wow. it kicked off its opening weekend with a series of concerts from U2 U2 will actually play a total of 25 concerts at the venue. Ticket prices range from $400 to $1,495. So you won't catch me buying any tickets for there. But they're also <laughs> offering a tour into the future of technology, which with those ticket prices start at $49. So a little bit more in my budget, but uh, clearly giving the stock a pop today. I will say, uh, I was taking a look at some of the analyst commentary. A Macquarie analyst actually attended the event there, called it revolutionary, but does mm. say that the franchise model potential will increasingly be their focus going forward. So progress on franchising this will this likely drive the stock. And then after earnings, JP Morgan recently did up their price target on the company to $28 from 25. So as you can see, it's currently trading at 41.22, so quite a bit higher than that price target. But they said while the attention the exosphere received on social media and the press is giving us incremental confidence on what forward demand will be from artists, consumers, and corporate partners, the ultimate success of the venue and viability of future spheres will hinge largely on original content so they have to get to work on developing some more original content there there are only six analysts that cover this company all of them are in the hold rating or in the hold camp right now and the median price targets 32 dollars so it's currently trading nine dollars higher than that right now so great day for sphere let's see if uh, some of the analysts catch up or uh, if, if these gains can hold it's a it is a great day for sphere and i gotta say Hats off on the creativity and just the fact that we see concerts becoming a lot more of an experience, not just having to do with the music itself. And this definitely proves that. But we got to leave it there. Caroline Woods, thank you so much. She's senior markets correspondent here on Schwab Network.